as you can see it's not quite ready to fix the pond the fish aren't really swimming yet but maybe today I'll start cleaning it up I did start to get the turtle pond ready here's the outside tortoise enclosure so they got a house to hide and dig in and a little maze to go through look at that I think I got some uh, plans going on for this summer anyway everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Let me tell you, this weekend was a very tough weekend. Seems like I worked my butt off all weekend and got nothing done. And when things could have gone wrong, they went wrong. And I ran into brick wall after brick wall. But let me show you how far I got. It was a tough weekend. <laughs> so you can hear a waterfall, but I set up a makeshift waterfall right here. Now keep in mind there's no liner here in the spillway so water is just pouring out that's why the the waterfall had to kind of like sit in the pond but i needed to set up some kind of powerful filtration for this pond this waterfall that i have set up all has to be taken down all that's going to get taken down i'm going to store rocks over there i really thought i'd get a head start this weekend the fish are coming closer to the top but i still have to keep the net on for a, a little while like i bent the pulled the net back a little bit I still have a little thing here so that's where this is pond the pond is at now right now all I've done is add a little bit of salt as you can see the water's nice and uh, greenish tint which actually I like in a pond but it'll probably clear up this is the very first time I'm dredging up things from all over the skimmer has to be raised about four or five inches maybe four inches like I said, all this is coming down. I gotta take the bridge off. We're gonna power wash it and paint it. And I'm also gonna power wash my porch and paint it. So that's gonna be a whole weekend project. Then I'm gonna scrub down some of these rocks, drain out some of the water. The fish just started eating. So that's the 2000 gallon pond, which right now is so low, it's probably 1200 gallons, maybe 1400, which is fine. So let's take a look over here to my little turtle pond. I was able to set up one small filter and I it wasn't a, quite enough aeration. So I set up this little waterfall. The pump barely has enough power to get up to the top and spill down, which is fine. Um, I was able to go to my friend's house today, backyard tortoises, and I'll leave a link in the thing and they'd let me have some of their minnows and some of their small goldfish. I don't know if the scene looks familiar to you, but last year, one of my neighbors was giving away free goldfish. You just had to come to her house with your own nets and bucks and go fishing. And now this year, I have some other people that said the same thing. Come on over with your nets. <laughs> I love it. Can we try it again? Let's go take a ride and we're going to go fishing. And when they drain their pond, they said I could have some more. How great is that? But right now they're acclimating in there with my tadpole. So you, it might seem like it was super easy. Oh, we just add this and this. But let me tell you, there's not one tube that matched up with one spillway. With There's nothing. And uh, the tortoises aren't out because it's rainy not that they don't mind the rain I, they're just not out now over here i did get a look quite a little bit done so this is where in our past we've always buried our pets so that's why we got some dogs in here and then over here we got some cats buried underneath the bird feeder i thought that was funny so since all my dirt from the pond came over here and I had a raised garden bed, three-tiered garden bed last year, I really thought about making it more of a turtle enclosure. So 
Never worked with a canister filter before. This was so hard to get going, but Kyle's the one that figured it out. So we're able to get that going. That's the best I have. I don't have one tube that's a darker color. I'll figure something out as we move forward. But right now I just wanted to get the water moving. So we have this lower tub here where it's pulled up into the filter. And right now the only filter in there is like a small, fil um, small filter. I don't have any biomedia in there yet. I'm just testing it. Goes into the top spillway, spills, which I'm thinking up here, I'm gonna put bio balls and things in a bag and then put rocks on top of it. So that will be most of the, the bio filtration. Then this one is gonna probably have a lot of plants for those root filtration and spill over here. And here's where some turtles are gonna be. So as you can see, I didn't quite have enough dirt. I gotta still build some kind of retaining wall. I wanna go down another five inches and then build it up a little bit. But I really worked my butt off and I didn't get a whole lot done. But the sound of running water is making me feel real good. So I did get this. I got some new fish that are sitting in this turtle pond. Of course, my turtles aren't out yet. And this is the biggest accomplishment. I had to have gone to Home Depot three times, my local fish store twice, trying to get parts to fit parts to, oh my gosh. It's crazy. I guess when you don't buy the whole kit and you just piecemeal it, it's not so easy. The hose I bought was metric, but my pump is American made. It's like, oh my gosh. So that's where that is. But on the good news, I learned so much. I gained so much experience this weekend just from all the trials and tribulations I had. So that was pretty cool. Um, on Saturday, I was able to go to my another local fish store and listen to Rachel O'Leary speak. Um, she aquascaped the tank, but it wasn't just the aquascaping the tank. It was the knowledge behind everything she did, which just was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I learned that. I learned about, and I'm going to be going to the Keystone Clash, and that's in September. And Keystone, it's in Pennsylvania. So I'll put some information down and I'll keep talking about it as I go forward. Um, what else? That was Saturday. I, oh, I went and adopted. We'll talk about that later. I did something else this weekend too that was so way cool. But some other things that I learned between the American made pond and the metric tubing I have and not having the right tools. It's so helpful when you have the right tools. But as I got this going and I went over to my to the backyard tortoises to get some fish and see their setup, what, what's left, because they're moving to North Carolina. And they have tons of turtles and reptiles, an amazing, amazing setup. And they were explaining about how they leave their turtles out all year round. It was fine. They're three miles up the road, so it's the same weather I have. But they did say like today, this weekend, I was going to try to get as many leaves out of here as possible. They said, don't leave the leaves in there. I'm like, ah, the leaves in there can help the turtles who want to hide down in the sludge. So I think I am going to still have my waterfall, but I am going to make it a little more realistic. A little more natural, a little more natural, I think. Um, but I got plenty of time to decide that because, like I said, I have to tear all that down. So I'm, as I pull all those rocks off and tear down, and I'm sure I'll be figuring out and changing my mind about a hundred times of what I'm going to do. So that is what I did this weekend. It was packed. It was powerful. It was, I learned so much. I was so frustrated. I went from happy, sad, frustrated, and it was getting so bad. I got a bloody nose, screaming headache. And now everything is good. <laughs> so I got to remind myself all the time when I'm feeling like that, it will pass. It will pass and it does get better. So I just have to keep sticking with it. And I did learn a lot. So from a lot of my frustrations, I'm going in the right direction. So that's what I did this weekend. What did you do this weekend? I would love to hear about it in the comments. Did it have anything to do with your fish? Fish tanks, inside, outside, ponds. I know NEC was going on in Connecticut. A lot, of, a lot of my friends went up to Connecticut. So I would love to hear if you went up to the NEC. Um, 
Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and I will see you next time.